If this is postcard Paris, this is where the city of light comes alive, the bustling bistro. You don't have to know anyone. You can sit down and make friends and talk and enjoy uh, great wine. Where Ernest Hemingway wrote some of his most famous books and mingled with the world's great poets and artists. Aubergine à velouté à calamar. Chef Alan Fontaine has been in the bistro business since he was a boy, but says his way of life is disappearing. You think in 30 years maybe the bistros will be gone? Just a restaurant, fast food, sandwich. In the last four years, a quarter of Parisian bistros, some 300, have closed, pushed out by soaring rents and big chain restaurants, which is why Fontaine is leading a campaign to get Paris bistros protected status from the United Nations. Chef and author Patricia Wells says the bistro is special, a family restaurant where people of all ages and backgrounds can mingle and debate. What would Paris be without a bistro? Oh, my God. You'd be dead. <laughs> it's part of history and it's part of tradition. And a symbol of resilience. At Gregory Reinberg's Bistro, 19 were killed, including his wife, in the 2015 terrorist attacks. Two days later, the cafes and bistros were full. Everybody was in the, in the terrace. So I say, OK, I will open it again, no problem. And they will not destroy this. A way of life, bistro owners say, is worth saving. Kelly Cobiella, NBC News, Paris. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.